it makes me realize that what the Bible warns us about, the deceiver, uh, <laughs> the deceiver is a lot more powerful than we, we, we thought. I think we've really underestimated what we've been warned about. The, the deception will, will pull you any direction, and this is where scientism is. I think this is the whole purpose of scientism. I think there are dark forces behind it trying to pull people into what they think is logic, and it's really, it's really speculation. It's really theory. It's not... It's not as concrete as everybody thinks it is. And uh, I, I, like I said, I think evolution has been thoroughly disproven. Uh, I, my focus is on cosmology. That's where I've, I've kind of come out. And uh, that's what led me into, led me back to the Bible. As the saying goes, the greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing the world that he didn't exist. And to do that, he has to first convince the world that God doesn't exist. And through science, I think he's achieved it. Through scientism, excuse me, science itself is a beautiful thing. But scientism, when it turns into a theology, when it turns into a religion, that is when it's a very bad thing. Ch challenging you know, outer space and the cosmos, you know, we have all these pictures of this stuff that you know, people will believe are real. And so it's too big of a conspiracy a lot of people th think but in my opinion i think we've just underestimated the power of satan and you know we were warned about this uh, the, the, the deceiver and deception and i think it's something we really need to step back and say hey i, I think is how powerful is this deceiver taking you guys back to this picture that was scanned just about 30 seconds ago it's a depiction of the sun in the center with everything circling around it, including the earth. This is known as heliocentricity. This is what we've all been taught. And this is the lie. The word helios comes from helios, the sun god. It's a form of sun worship. S-U-N, not S-O-N. Remember, Romans chapter 1, it talks about they worshipped the creation rather than the creator still to this day paganism sun also has to do with the word sunday sunday sun worship day most christians think sunday is a day for church when really in paganism it was the sun worship day s-u-n here is biblical creation or what is more commonly known today as flat earth you know, God made it so obvious, the things of creation. Like Romans one twenty says, that uh, nobody will be with, 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 with the excuse. You know, it's very obvious that the earth isn't moving. It's very obvious that the earth is flat. You know, just look at water. Water doesn't curve around a ball. It's uh, And then the firmament is written about, as you see in the depiction here, uh, Isaiah 40.22 in the King James Bible says that it covers the earth as a tent. For us to dwell in so there is no ball with a covering like a tent it does not work look at a tent it always has a flat bottom and it's always covered just like that i couldn't tell you what the firmament is exactly made out of i can't tell you all the scientific specs of everything but the bible doesn't tell us that because god gives us an outline of what he wants us to know we can't know everything about creation, but he does want us to know some things about creation. And he gives us enough to debunk uh, what they are teaching in the schools, the lies. And that's I think that's what God wanted to do. He wanted to give us enough so that we can appreciate it, so that we can recognize it as designed and created uh, with a mind, with intelligence, which is God. And so it debunks the opposite, the other things. He knew he had foreknowledge. And so you have the sun and the moon and the stars inside this firmament. And the definition for firmament is firmament, so solid thing. Ezekiel 1 talks about it. Genesis chapter 1 talks about it. It's all throughout the Bible the firmament is mentioned. And the book of Job, it says that the sky is strong as a molten looking glass. Uh, we see it in, I believe... The book of Revelation, but it's all over the Bible in different places. Uh, the earth is motionless. It speaks about that in Psalms 93.1, Psalms 104, verse 5. 
The sun and the moon and the stars are inside this firmament. Speaks about that in Genesis 1. I believe it's verse 14 and 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18 and 19, King James Bible. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And let's see just how evil NASA is. First, we're going to look at Earth's orbital speed around the sun. How fast does Earth move around the sun? 66,600 miles per hour. Speed of the globe's orbit. Next, curvature in one mile squared. According to Pythagorean theorem, 0.67 feet of drop. Eight inches converted to feet is 0.66667 feet. Curvature in one mile squared, check. Earth's axial tilt, 23.4. But when you take 23.4 and subtract it from 90, a right angle, you get, believe it or not, 66.6. .6. Again, axial tilt confirmed. Now let's take a look at the Antarctic and Arctic circles. Oh, did you look at that? 66.6 .6 degrees north and 66.6 .6 degrees south. Must just be a coincidence, huh? The current commander of the International Space Station about to break a big record tonight. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. They call it the Peggy Factor, Mission Control's code word for the way superstar astronaut Peggy Whitson always gets the job done. I love it up here. Tonight, Commander Whitson making history with her record for any American. By the time she lands in September, her tally will be 666 days in space. Will be 666 days in space. Will be 666 days in space. With more spacewalks, currently eight, than any other female astronaut. Now let's go over the diameter of the moon. This is a new one. I actually didn't know. It's 2,160 miles, but... You take six times six times six, there you go, 2160. The surface temperature of Uranus, oh, there you go, negative 216, which is six times six times six, 216. Oh, you thought we were done. Let's do Pluto's orbital velocity. Scroll down here. Oh, there we go. 666. Six, six. The speed of sound in knots. Speed of sound. Oh, well, you look at that. 666 knots. The Earth's circumference in nautical miles. Oh, 21,600. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Again, 600 times. Six times six. Another coincidence, 21,600. How far is Mars from the sun? Well, 1.666 astronomical units. Now let's look at Ceres' synodic period. And just as you expected, 666 again. The devil's in the details, ladies and gentlemen. Saturn's orbital distance in kilometers. Let's take a look at the numbers. Oh. 
Bible clearly states in Psalm 2, the kings of the earth have taken up arms against the Lord and his anointed, saying, let us break their chains and cast them asunder. And God, who sits in heaven, laughs and says he will hold them in derision. have been duped on such a grand scale, ladies and gentlemen. And if someone believes in a creation that does not exist, he also necessarily believes in a creator that does not exist. So it is essential to have an accurate understanding of God's creation. God did not make a moving spherical earth. Any God who creates a spherical moving earth is a different God from the God of the Bible. Keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoid profane and vain babblings, and oppositions of science falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Amen. NASA lies. NASA is a devil in disguise. I repeat, no shuttle has ever pierced through the sky. You decide. Look at any launch, how they fly sideways, never straight up. Yeah, that would work if the glove wasn't made up. NASA every day gets paid chunks of money for what? Some kids don't even get to eat lunch. Disgusting. Some people don't even get to eat nothing. And we're trusting these buildings ain't crumbling as we hurl through space doing 60,000 and something. Nothing you say will change my mind. We've been lied to. If you don't want to believe me, that's fine too. But please understand I've listed reasons why I choose to call you blind if you refuse to just open your eyes, you fools. And I ain't trying to leave on bad terms But it's clear you're still brainwashed If you think the earth turns It's fact that the earth is flat It's fact that the earth is flat It's fact